next news Pat is out of the USA. Uh, Pat Robertson be says, because of legal abortion, God will punish us with leprosy. Uh, before we start, to, in case people don't know who Pat Robertson is, he's this guy uh, in the U.S. We have a, a show called The 700 Club, um, where Pat, I think, has been on this thing, uh, I think, my whole life and longer. I don't know, <laughs> but he's, he's been around forever doing this. The man is outrageously old, uh, and he always says the craziest things about anyone uh, who... I, I was about to say anyone who's not a Christian, but in all honesty, he just says the craziest things. So this time, uh, because of legal abortion, God is going to punish us with leprosy. Um, he very says, specific. And, very it specific. is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how they figure this out, but go on. <laughs> he says, in quote, we have launched a program of destroying the lives of young children. You know, during abortion and even after abortions, they would be killed. And the blatant disregard for human life has gotten to a crescendo. And I wonder if a holy God is going to do something. And the way he does it through is through the plague. We have now learned that something is happening in Los Angeles. An emergence of leprosy. Leprosy, ladies and gentlemen, in the United States of America. Wow. So he has, linked, uh, he has linked cases of leprosy to absolutely it has to be because of legal abortion. Okay, but even if you're like a loony Christian, right? Not that all Christians are loony, but if you're one of them, how do you know? Like, what if I come to you like, okay, I agree with you that God punishes us for sins and stuff, right? But how do you know, like, this is not for gay pride and it's for legal abortion? Like, how do you determine that? You know what I mean? Like, did, I it, don't know. It, okay, like, do they have like a rule book or something? Because I know there's nowhere in the Bible that you can find that the specific punishments for specific sins. So are they are these people just so confident that they could know what God's intentions are? Like, I really want to have a conversation with one of them. Like, I want to ask Pat. Like, okay, I'm on your side. Okay, I'm I'm like a nut job Christian like you, but I actually think this was this is because of gay sex in the United States. So how would you argue against me? I, I don't, I don't, I, I okay. think that, you know, there's got to be some sort of, of algorithm <laughs> that Pat Robertson goes by, you know, maybe kittens playing with balls and in whichever order they knock them in and, and people just write random words on them and he just spews it out. And, and, you know, we've been talking about Pat, you and I on this show for, for a long, long, long time. And every time he says something like this, you and I are always jaw dropped. We're just like, how? How does he know? And here he is. He is not failing us. So I don't know. We're seeing in the live chat, you know, people are saying, how is he still alive? I don't know. Um, <laughs> he is so much of a mystery. So apparently Beach in the live chat, she is, you know, um, saying hurricane is for gay pride. Earthquake is for boobs. And apparently <laughs> leprosy is for um, legal abortion. We should make a list so people can just refer to it. Like every time something bad happens, people could like, okay, this is the chart. Now we know what we did wrong. Or maybe we can break his algorithm and then we can end up saying the crazy things before he says it right, and people right. can donate to us. Right. And we could predict actually before he even says it. Yeah, that's good. Shob <laughs> Shobam, what do you think? I mean, it kind of seems like he's covering for the anti vaxxers because... I mean, be, uh, be real, leprosy can be easily avoided with vaccines. Yeah, it's actually, and yeah, it's actually. Pretty. Yeah, like, I mean, there are, there are less than one in 10,000 cases here of leprosy. So I mean, it, it gets pretty easy to avoid it. Also, also, I mean, missed, uh, I mean, and Beej missed one thing. I mean, uh, trans people cause uh, the fabrication of the universe to get destroyed. Oh yeah, trans people are the most powerful one because think about yeah. it. Yeah, if you're if you're gay, you could only cause based on what we've seen people get accused of. Uh, gay people cause earthquakes, right? And trans people make the whole universe the fa they 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 threaten the fabric of the universe, right? So if you want to if you have a apparently gays and trans people are are superheroes and they have superpowers <laughs> but trans people are like way above everyone else that's pretty impressive i wish i was trans atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists and not many seem to be listening 
let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.